The mood today is relatively quiet in Matthews County, but yesterday it was a different story. 200 demonstrators had marched in protest of the shooting by a white deputy of a 23-year-old black man. The shooting occurred behind that ABC store where Mike Johnson was stopped by deputy John Thorne, who reportedly suspected him of being drunk. Mike Johnson was shot in the chest during a fight with Deputy Thorne, who says he feared for his life and didn't know Johnson was unarmed. Today, the family of Johnson called the killing senseless. I feel in my heart that he would not treat it as a citizen. He was whipped un unnecessarily, and like I say again, the killing was senseless, and the, the whole matter wasn't handled like a law officer should have handled the situation from the beginning. If he had handled it like he should have, honest speaking, I don't think that you have this killing on your hand this particular day, which was Saturday. And the most of the blacks is upset because of the way it was handled. The family wants justice and will be looking closely at the conclusions reached by state police and FBI investigations. Okay, Michael was a type of person that he was cried, he didn't say it too much, very little he ever said, and for his violence someone, I had no, never known him being rowdy at all. But when somebody just lives and beats you, you have to protect yourself. And, and I say it again, if this has been a white officer and this man had been white, he would not have shot him. Tony Rawls, Area 10, Eyewitness News. Matthews County. An outpouring of grief today in Matthews County. Antioch Baptist Church was packed. They had come by the hundreds to mourn 23-year-old Michael Saunders Johnson. It was four days ago that Johnson was shot in the chest during a fight with a sheriff's deputy who tried to arrest him for suspicion of drunk driving. The death has heightened racial tensions here. Reverend Joe Fleming prayed that the bitterness and hatred would subside and be replaced by brotherly love. And like Fleming, Reverend Curtis Harris, president of the Virginia Southern Christian Leadership Conference, said Johnson's death reflects a national trend, and it's time for blacks to wake up. This seems to be a nationwide uh, resurgence of the old um, uh, attitudes uh, prior to the 60s. Uh, when we had to take to the streets to raise the conscience level of uh, the people of this nation and of the world. What should we do now? Should we return to that way of thinking? Is that what you're saying? I believe that um, we have to use all legitimate, nonviolent, direct methods to raise the conscience level of the people. When uh, the people are conscious of what's going on around them, it is not likely that those who have power will um, use that power in an unwise way. In his eulogy, Reverend Joe Fleming called on the community of Matthews County to launch its own investigation into the death of Michael Johnson. He said this would make it clear that the community does not appreciate it when the lives of one of its children are played with. Tony Rawls, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Matthews County. A warrant for the arrest of ex-deputy John Thorns was served at 8.15 this morning. After due consideration of the report submitted to me by the Department of State Police, the statements taken by the Matthews County Sheriff's Department and the provisional autopsy report, I have concluded that former Deputy Sheriff John Riley Thorns Sr should be charged with the unlawful homicide of Michael Saunders Johnson, which act took place on Saturday, August 23, 1980. Johnson was shot in the chest during a fight with the former deputy who arrested him on suspicion of drunk driving. The question to be resolved in regard to this case is whether or not the police officer had the necessity to kill and take a human life. Accordingly, the court or a jury will have to determine the existence or absence of such necessity, and it must also judge the reasonableness of the grounds upon which the police officer acted. Johnson's death angered blacks in Matthews County. They protested and at his funeral vowed to launch their own investigation into the shooting. 
But Commonwealth's attorney Blaynock says it was not pressure from blacks which led to the ex deputy's arrest. Rather, it was the fact that he killed a man who apparently had only committed a misdemeanor. You must understand that the issuance of the warrant does not mean that the officer is guilty or not guilty. He is to be tried by his peers, and they will have to answer this particular unfortunate situation. Blaynock says he will prosecute Mr. Thorns and has no intentions of removing himself from the case just because he knows the ex-deputy fairly well. On September 8th, a preliminary hearing for Deputy Thorns is scheduled in General District Court. In the meantime, he's free on bond. Tony Rawls, Area 10, Eyewitness News, at the Matthews County Courthouse.